hello there let's go ahead and download ODI 12c just google download oracle data integrated 12c and it will take you to oracle web page accept oracle terms and conditions and then there are two disks which you need to download click on disk 1 it will ask you user id and password if you do not have oracle user id and password no worries you can create it for free click on create account create user id and password for free and come back here and then sign in the disk 1 download will start the moment you sign in you do not have to wait for disk 1 to finish you can download disk 2 while disk 1 is being downloaded go to the same oracle page again once again accept the terms and conditions and click on disk 2 and disk 2 download will start right away wait for the disk 1 and disk 2 to finish based on your computer speed and network it might take few minutes from anywhere 10 minutes to up to 20 minutes or it might happen faster once both the disks are downloaded this will be basically zip file so unzip both of them this is pretty easy after that open disk 1 and open disk 2 these are both jar files copy the jar file from disk 2 and put it into the directory where disk 1 file is located odi installation expects both the jar files in same directory so make sure you copy the second jar file and put it in the same directory where first jar file is located after that go to this command prompt and open the command prompt as administrator it is very important that you open that command prompt run as administrator and then change the directory to the folder where you installed JDK. If you have not installed JDK, you can stop here and go back to the previous video and install JDK and come back here. ODI installation cannot happen without JDK. So make sure you install JDK and here you change the directory to that JDK bin folder. After that run the command java minus jar and put the first jar file along with the path name here. In my case I have installed that jar file in my C folder so I put here the complete path name and then I will copy the jar file name and put it there. Once I do that and I click on my enter button, Oracle will start ODI installer. It might take few minutes between extracting the file, the jar file and starting the installer. So wait for those few minutes. Here you go, Oracle Data Integrator 12C installer has started. Congratulations, this is first win. No change in the welcome page, no change in auto update page. In installation location, this is where we provide Oracle Home. Each new installation of ODI needs a separate Oracle Home directory. So make sure you create a new one here. I created my directory under C folder and I named it as Oracle. So it's uh, generally people name it either Oracle or uh, Oracle underscore home. It makes it easy to remember. Go to the next step. In the next step, make sure you inst click on enterprise installation. Here is summary of the components it's going to install. Installation progress will show the progress. It might take some time to come to 100%. So wait for it. 
for me it took about 20 minutes to complete the installation of all those components so have patience and wait for it to finish and once that is done click on next and that will show you the components which it has installed you can click on finish and it will close this screen now in order to verify that odi has been installed successfully go to the start menu and in all program list you should see odi studio there if you see it under oracle that means odi studio has been successfully installed the second verification is you go to your oracle home and in oracle home you should see lot of new directories created by odi installations 